Thank you. And uh, it's my pleasure to welcome the Honorable Karen Mills. She was sworn in in April 6, 2009 as the 23rd Administrator of the U.S. Small Business Administration. The SBA helps small business owners and entrepreneurs secure financing, technical assistance, training, and federal contracts. Welcome. Thank you very much, Chairwoman Velasquez, Ranking Member Graves, members of the committee. It's an honor to be with you. In working with you over the past year, these meetings have been important and helpful. This is a shared endeavor to improve oversight and risk management while removing waste, fraud, and abuse. I'm pleased to say that we're making good progress. One tangible me me metric is that we've cut the number of overdue IG findings in half from 97 last June to 48 this March. We also have less than 50 open recommendations from GAO, having closed six full audits since 2008. And just last week, we received an award from the Association of Government Accountants for Excellence in Accountability Reporting. But there is more work to do. It's now part of the SBA's strategic priorities to build on this progress in two particular areas. The first area is our government contracting and business development programs, where we have efforts at all, aimed at all three steps in the process. At the front end, it means more efforts with upfront certification and eligibility. For those already in the program, it means more emphasis on ongoing compliance and site visits. And finally, if they're found to be out of compliance, it means pursuing and removing bad actors. Already we've made dramatic increases in site visits in hub zone firms from fewer than 100 in 2008 to over 900 in 2009, and we're on track to do more than 1,000 this year. We're working to ensure on that only legitimate, eligible firms are benefiting from hub zone. In our 8A program, we agree with nearly all of GAO's recent recommendations, and we've begun to implement them. Already, we're training our field staff to more quickly identify ineligible firms, and when it's clear that fraud exists, we're taking steps to debar and or work with the Department of Justice to prosecute. We also did a comprehensive review of 8A in a uh, the first comprehensive review of 8A in a decade and proposed regulatory changes. We went to 10 cities. We held two tribal consultations and received extensive public comments. GAO has given us positive feedback on how we handled this process. For all our contracting programs, the President's Fiscal 11 budget requests $2 million for strengthening efforts to prevent waste, fraud, and abuse. The second area is lender oversight, where we're working to instill best practices that will ensure compliance and manage risk more effectively as we work with our lending partners. In the 2011 budget, we request $2 million more for lender oversight and on-site reviews, as well as $1 million for stronger program assessments. This will help us address areas that the Inspector General has recently brought to our attention, including the premier certified lenders in the 504 program. Overall, the entire SBA team is focused on continued vigilance in identifying, tracking, and reducing risk through our partnership with this committee and with insights from the GAO and our Inspector General. I know we moved in the right direction this past year, and we commit to continue to take even bigger steps in the future. Separately, an important issue has come up in the past few days that I want to bring to the committee's attention. The SBA and the White House support the congressional intent of parity, equal treatment among our contracting programs, 8A, hub zone, service disabled veterans, and soon women-owned small businesses. However, a recent court decision potentially undermines this policy by interpreting the Small Business Act to provide for a hub zone pr preference over the other programs. The administration supports legislative efforts to confirm Congress's original intent to provide for parity. I welcome any questions. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank you, Administrator Smiles. Um, and 